Hello Maggot, thank you for clicking onto this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe without even hearing what I have to say because you are going to like it and you will subscribe to it. You'll also subscribe to Jordan Shanks, which is a paid for thing that you will be get getting into. And yeah, this is all hypnotic embedded commands and I'm extremely confident that it'll work, especially because I fluffed up the line. That's always going to be a sign of guarantee, isn't it? You feel like a failure. And that's why you clicked on this and you have every right to be. I'm sure you are a failure. I'm sure you've actually successed. <laughs> I'm sure that you've looked into your life very extensively and come to that conclusion. And uh, the reason that you can detect a hint of sarcasm in my voice is because I am being somewhat sarcastic, but also somewhat truthful at the same time, just to give some level of intrigue in there so you don't really know where this roller coaster is going to lead you. But the reason that I want you to think about the thought of you being a loser and dwell on it for a second and I do want you to do this. This is going to be an exercise that you are going to do because I know that you clicked onto this video because you saw the word failure and you went, <laughs> that is me, <laughs> using the end of your little maggot tail to do it, which would be a lot harder because usually when I say that I'm talking about a worm's tail and a maggot tail is obviously a lot stumpier. So we'll be like, caution, your tail is too fat to hit the computer pad. So here's what you need to think about. Why do you think that you're a failure? I'm going to guarantee with 100% certainty and positivity and uh, make sure that you don't write down in the comments if I'm wrong about this either, just so I uh, am able to validate my hypothesis on you that I've never met before. You feel like a failure because someone told you you were a failure or, or let me just widen this out a little bit so that I can do a real crossing over with John Edwards, just, oh, how did you know? <laughs> the other thing that you might think that is close to this is the reason that you think that you might be a failure is because somebody told you or they kind of just alluded to it in a way. They didn't outright tell you, but you saw something in their eyes, maybe your mum, maybe your dad, and then it was just a little disappointment and you thought, oh. Well, I'm here to say that the reason that you think that is because of their mental map and you are buying into it because it fits into your mental map. This is why a lot of people always feel like they're failures when their parents just go like, I mm, can't believe you're not married at 25. I mean, I was married at 27, but I always thought that my son would be married at 25. And you don't have a girlfriend or anything like that and you're a neat and a virgin. And now that I think about it, yeah, you are a failure if that's the case. And you're never going to get any better either. It's just all downhill from there because you just peaked mentally. Oh, I think maybe you're 26. Oh, there's one year left. Maybe you can do it. Uh, but yeah, people are going to feel like they're failures because of those reasons. They're usually going to feel like a failure because somebody else talks to them about it. Let's just talk for a second about the concept of mental map. A mental map, the reason that most boomers, uh, as you people on the net call them, and I do call them that frequently as well because you have infected me cancerous dog and the reason that boomers usually say these kinds of things about why don't you have this job at a bank why don't you work for this gas company the most evil jobs you could possibly get usually the boomers mind success they might not think that the actual industry itself i really don't like that when people say oh i'm just working for it man like you can't no i i think you're a bad person i do i honestly do you're a terrible person if you work for one of those industries because the whole thing is, first of all, you are not living up to your potential. That's the first thing that I will always say about people that are even one of these evil jobs. It's like you could be doing something that you would be making more money in anyway. You just chose the easy way out because they have endless amounts of money to just catch whatever small capital they have and then they're just like, yeah, you're good at figuring out where oil is. You're going to do that on this computer for the rest of your life. Well, you could be figuring out where water is for African people. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm getting, calling you a failure. You didn't come onto this. I'm sorry. I didn't. I don't know. My, my mind's there at the moment. But yes, we'll we'll go back to that. We'll try and make you feel better for a second. That's probably a good idea, so that you can't actually come back. But you're going to feel like that because that's what people think about you, and you will agree with that because that kind of mental map moves on. Well, first of all, we just got to destroy the main one because a lot of people always feel like that because of their job. The reason that you feel like a failure is because you are not in the societally deemed jobs that are great. Yeah? 
So I think at the top of the field is probably like president, then it might be celebrity, then down there might be doctor, lawyer. And purely I'm thinking about that because of just the sheer population weight of all of India thinking, oh my God, my daughter is a doctor. That's all I care about, right? And so, you know, it keeps going down, engineer, then it goes maybe monkey, and then I guess somebody that works at Coles, (laughs) which is you, right? And you just keep going down the list. Thing is, here's what I know from experience, right? When it comes to Gen Y and they look at my job, everybody from my generation is always thinking, wow, man, you made it. Or they're being very jealous and saying snarky things. Usually it's actually the second one. But if they're being positive about it, they'll say that. No boomer ever thinks that what I'm doing is good. Never. Uh, some some people's mums might. But anyone in my circle always thinks that that's what, what I'm doing is pathetic, right? And the reason they think that is because their mental map has not changed from that... 60s plastic fantastic if you the only reason that you're ever winning in life is if you are in a suit and you've got a white picket fence and then you come home to wifey and you've got 2.5 children i think that's it (laughs) i can't remember what the exact specific maybe it's 2.7 who knows i don't know how you have a 2.7 or even a 2.5 of a child but i guess one of them is just for whatever reason has no legs And that's how they think that the world works. All I'm saying is that whenever anybody thinks that you are a failure in life, then you will start thinking it, first off. So this is usually just a socially constructed idea. And they will think that you're a failure because you are not ticking their criteria that was instilled in them. This is the trippy part. That was instilled into them from other people, from other let's let's call them cultural narratives or social narratives that exist and those social narratives are then just put into you and then you think oh okay because i'm not a lawyer i'm a failure well i've got to tell you from experience there are very few lawyers that are good people anyway most of them just work for evil corporations and they're just a glorified coal miner really in fact they're much more damaging to the world than a coal miner is right but then the second thing is uh okay you're not fitting their mental map. Does that mean that you're a failure? Think about it. Okay, maybe monetarily, you are not making 100K a year. But I bet you that there is a bunch of skills that you have that first off, the fact that you are not making that 100K in the first place, because if you are making that 100K, the person that is making that 100K, that is giving you that 100K, wants a serious return on investment for that level of investment obviously. And you know what that level of investment usually is? You're usually in the corporate world. And if you're in the corporate world, what are you doing? You are working 15 hours a day. Maybe you're making a little bit more. Ooh, 120 grand a year, 130. Yeah, that's definitely worth your entire life. You don't even have time to spend the money. You can get fancy Uber Eats. Mad. The Thai restaurant that has a five-star review instead of a 4.5. That was, that was definitely worth your entire 20s. I think you are not utilizing... All that's happening when someone calls you a failure is that you are not utilizing your specific things that make you you. So let's just do this experiment for a second. This is a thought experiment that I like using a lot. Usain Bolt. Think about that man's existence. It's bizarre. How has this eventuated that somebody is a multi-millionaire for running specifically... (laughs) 100 meters really quickly be like nothing is impossible yeah that's all he does that is what he is good at at life no one can run 100 meters exactly as fast as he can someone could do it a little bit less and therefore they're not a millionaire harsh but true right well that's sort of you you will be absurdly good at something that is absurd And in the age of the tail end, which is now, which is the internet, you are going to find your talent, you are going to find the thing that makes you an Usain Bolt, and you are going to work at that. Because everybody watching this right now, unless you're really a dum-dum, and I don't think that you would be watching this in the first place, but if you are a dum-dum, aren't a dum-dum, how dum-dum of me, they will have something that they are excessively good at. Maybe they're really good at jerking off. Well, 
live jasmine. There might be a male equivalent of it. I've just never looked into it because of personal preferences, but you could just go up on that. Maybe you excel at it. So do something with your jerkin. Make some American money. Yeah? You see where I'm going with this though, right? Do you see where I'm going with this? Because I'm kind of lost myself, but Usain Bolt, really good at one specific task, better than anybody else in the world. That is everybody if they live up to their potential, if they move with what they are good at and then they specialize in that area. So let people think that you are a failure because anytime that anybody thinks that you are a failure, they are thinking so because they are playing into a mind map that is theirs. doesn't matter what it is. When people say to me all the time, they say, I don't know, I hate you for this reason, I hate you for your politics, I don't like your style, whatever. Water of a duck's back because I always just think, oh, okay, so I haven't fit into their mental map of just being, I don't know, Jay Leno. Or something like that. Like it's just somebody that they think like, that's what a comedian is. That's what a presenter is. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, Obviously, because you're not hitting that criteria. This is exactly like what happened in the 80s with stand-up. All stand-up became the successful guys. We're all doing observational comedy. Now it's changed into a woke internet show of which. But back then it was all observational comedy. And if you didn't hit that, then you weren't successful. It didn't matter if you were gut-bustingly funny. It didn't matter. That did not matter. People would walk out of the cinemas, and, uh, sorry, the, the stand-up clubs, and they'd be like, I liked the observational guy with the rolled-up sleeve shows because it reminded me of something that I saw on television. That idea was impressed into their minds. That's what normies think. You have to divorce yourself from that idea. You, every time somebody thinks that you are a failure in life, the only question that you should be asking is, am I actualizing myself? Okay? You should even be writing that down. Write it down in your notebook. Am I actualizing myself? If you are doing that, if you are finding out what makes you, you specifically, your natural talents and abilities, and you're moving in that direction, you will succeed. And you will succeed on your terms. And you know what else as well? When people attack you, it'll be like water off a duck's back. Because you know that kind of like, I don't know, a toucan eating whatever the fuck toucans eat. In fact, let me know in the comments. What do toucans eat? I'm actually very interested in that. Is it Fruit Loops? I'm pretty sure it is. Because of my mental map. So I want you to write down if you're actualizing yourself in that direction? Do you know what makes you an Usain Bolt? If you don't know what an Usain Bolt is, this is a nice little tip that I always like to think about. What are people always giving you compliments about? You write down some of those. Anyway, if you like that, make sure that you sign up to Jordan Shames. If you sign up to Jordan Shames, you'll be getting valuable reminders like that all the time to actualize yourself, to stay on message because this is the whole thing. You're going to watch this and then you're going to forget it and then you're just going to feel like a failure and it's going to take two days out of your life. I can fix that very quickly. There's so many videos behind that that'll give you unlimited advice in that field and it'll be like, hey, reminder, get back on track. And when you get back on track, you've saved yourself two days of feeling like crap. And then in that two days, you've done a bunch of productive things that have moved you forward. And you want a key to happiness in life, progress. One word, every time. Happiness equals progress. You are progressing in life. You are going to feel happy. I'm going to make sure that you stay on track. For a low, low investment. Lower than giving money to bums on the street. You would give more money to the squeegee guy than you give to me. Which is very accurate because he is also usually dressed better than I am. Anyway, make sure you sign up. Love you to bits. God bless you.